I'm telling you the truth, Julia. I'm sorry, but we both know you haven't always been scrupulously honest with me in the past. Yes, well, we're not living in the past, are we? And I don't think it's fair of you to bring it up. Why not? It's the whole basis of my experience. The past is the only foundation we have to build on. Well, then build something positive, something strong. Can't do that with shadowy girders and suspicious steel. That is the most labored analogy I have ever heard. And it isn't worthy of you, and it begs the question. But I am begging you, please, believe me. The cost of doing this thing is a major consideration right now, but I am going to find a way to make it work. As a matter of fact, I have requested that plans be drawn up to be filed with the city about the construction of the dome. And I am consulting with any number of experts about how to protect the sanctuary both during and after construction. I give you my word, I don't want to lose one little winnet or one giant eagle. And most of all, Julia, I don't want to lose your trust and support. Those are the things that I really want to build a sanctuary for. To keep those very abysses alive. I hate it when you're charming with me. No, you don't. Now, listen. The groundbreaking ceremony for the Oasis is on Friday. Will you be there for the opening ceremonies? I don't know. I'll think about it. You're going to tease me about this? No, I, I just don't want to be pressured into doing it, that's all. Hello, Mason. Julia. Hi. Ray? How are you? How are you going to build Capwell Oasis if you're spending all your time here at the Polo Club, Ray? I belong, remember? Anyway, I was having dinner with an associate of mine, and uh, I was wondering if I could introduce you to him. That is, uh, unless your wife wouldn't excuse you for a couple of minutes. Oh, of course. Go ahead, take your time. I'll be right back. Uh, Mason. Look, I've been giving a lot of thought to this uh, ecological dome you're talking about this afternoon. Mm -hmm. I gotta let you know. Now, either you're leading Julia down the garden path or you're walking down it yourself. A dome is totally unfeasible. Not to mention prohibitively expensive, not to mention just plain old impossible. Now, there's just no way it can be done. Ray, my wife thinks there's going to be a dome. And as far as my wife is concerned, there is going to be a dome. Now, you can draw up supplemental plans, can't you? It won't be prohibitively expensive to drop a little mention of it in the press now and then. It won't be impossible for us to get as much mileage out of it for as long as we can. So, from now on, Ray, think dome. If that's how you want to play it? Good. Now, let's meet this associate of yours, whoever he is. 